with Master Nero. We're about to head up to Comic Con. There you go. So we'll see you on the flip side. in the background there. How you doing? And Master Nero. We're all here up here on the on the roof of the We're all there. We're not all there. <laughs> right. Right. But yes, so to all you apprentices out there. That's what you're missing. <laughs> Just all the four moves. Wall starting in block position please. Wall starting position wise going in right now. It's funny because that's the first thing he thought of was whatever he said. And the first thing I always think of is I've been working on the railroad. I really say my head. Because all you're doing, you're just handling the railroad spikes over and over again like a Chinese labor for that. I know I'm sure. <laughs> wow. So, yeah, and keeping the test, because the, the methods really aren't any different. Right? Um, I have one handy techniques, he has one handy techniques, we both have that. So, um, basic, kind of the basic things goes here. Is we got stance is really important, especially when we're dealing with real combat. Because when we're here, and if we just kind of go at it, just <laughs> okay, so as you see here, like he has his. If he comes in, right? So, dude, again, got to be here. And there. What happens if you turn this way? As he comes in over here, not only am I carrying, but I move off the line of his weapon, right? So, actually, what I'm going to be doing is I'm moving kind of diagonally over to here to get him there. Now. The reason we go, we, we do do behind the back like this is because sometimes you get what's called a passing maneuver, where he's going to basically <coughs> pass me, right? Attack me, get me to parry, run past me so that he can't have access to my back. And so what he'll do is I come in, just, just run right past me and then get me in the back of the head. So I come in like this, and now when he's here, since I got the... I got the shield back there, so go ahead. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> right? So he comes in, and then that, that's right there. Now, if he comes in like that again, right? Oh. <laughs> Sorry. Don't worry, we'll fix the post. <laughs> <laughs> Just move away from the water. 
Okay. If he comes now, in like that again, that bit right there that we did right there, okay, this, that's called the bind. And that's, our, that's one of our major controlling things. So when you're doing your spins like all of this stuff, this stuff actually does come from real martial arts, right? There is a use to using the spins here. Um, perfectly, if he just squares up and he's going to come in with one of his touches, and usually he's going to come in and it's not going to work on his sleeve. <laughs> okay, ready? And I come like that. Keep going. Right? You see? Yep. This, if I keep it right on my center line, and as he comes in, this is moving in front, so he's kind of unconsciously trying to get around it, right? So that can do a whole lot. One of the things that I just heard somebody say, don't square your hips for it when you do this. Very, very good reason for that. If I'm doing this like this, and he comes in to try to attack me, I'm pretty well covered. If I'm like this, and he just comes from my head, keep coming. You see, most of the time, my weapon isn't even covering my body, right? So what we do is when we're doing our turns and our spins, right, is we stay kind of in this one line, right? And if I if, if he comes in here, the spins, when I come into here, I can spin like this against him. If I do this though, <laughs> obviously I get it. So a little bit different. When you see it in the movies, you know, it's there for drama and stuff like that. And in a real fight, stuff like that does happen, right? For instance, we're going along here, right? He passes me, right? Well, now we have to turn around and fight each other, right? That's not always easy, especially if you're going, you know, a mile a minute like that. 